Hello again, this is Nicholas here back with an addendum to my Ink and Godot tutorial series. And uh, for this first video, what I wanted to show you is a couple of things. The first thing that I wanted to just note is that um, since I released the first round of videos, there's been a lot of updates to Godot and to Ink, uh, or the InkGD plugin, rather. Um, you'll actually see on the screen right now that you can see that I'm actually running 4.1.2 and um, I have the Ink GD plugin working in uh, this updated version. So for anybody that's been watching the previous videos, um, please make sure that you go through and you update your Ink GD uh, plugin information because um, there's been some great updates to it recently uh, that have made sure that uh, the compatibility between um, your old projects and anything that you're updating to 4.1 uh, or 4 plus really is going to be working. The other thing that I want to update is that I've also gone back into this project and incorporated a couple of new features that users might be interested in checking out for themselves, um, mostly again because I didn't find uh, a concrete example of this in any of the documentation but I thought I would show a practical example of how to implement uh, saving and loading your ink project and the state that that ink story is in uh, within your project and just to give you a sense of how to do that. Uh, and the last thing is that I wanted to uh, make sure that everybody was aware that's following along in these videos or anyone that's subscribed to this channel that I've uploaded this whole project up to a GitHub repository. So if you look down in the notes for this video below, you will see the direct link to that, um, but I'll also show it to you right now. So this is the repo for this project. Um, I haven't done much here, but you know, the readme is pretty straightforward and pretty self-explanatory, um, but I'm gonna be hopefully trying to contribute to this project and add functions and features and whatever other things and kind of keep this up to date so that people can try to continue to come back to this project and tinker with it, experiment with it, and figure out how they can implement ink into their projects, into their Godot projects, I should say. Um, all of the licensing information and stuff is here. Um, so if you use GitHub or if you just want to get a copy of this project so that you can experiment with the project files, please feel free to do so. Uh, again, all of this stuff is gonna be linked down uh, in the notes below. Okay, so this is just a short video that's saying that I've made some updates to this project. Go check out the GitHub repository and come back for the next video to check out how to implement saving and loading in our visual novel example project that we have here. All right, great. Looking forward to it and see you later. Bye.